See you later. But yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've not worked in retail before. Well, I worked in duct cleaning once for Weiss Johnson. And there were some people that got really up in arms over... Gosh dang it. Over silly things there. Like, uh... These people that you were going and cleaning the ducts of. You know, it's not like they've ever done duct cleaning before. It, they wouldn't know what the proper procedure is. You would attach this big vacuum hose to their furnace to essentially be sucking out the dust. And then you go around with an air hose to the various vents blowing air into it. And you don't need to do it for very long. You know, you just need to do it for like maybe 20 to 30 seconds in a vent just to get the stuff loose. And then the vacuum pulling from the other side is going to, you know, get it. You know, it's not like you need to be blowing it out for, you know, minutes on end or anything like that. Ah, oh, that's a little bit out of the way. I'll just do this first. Um, and there, we once had this one guy that refused to pay for like the several hours of work that we did in his place because he was saying that I only spent like 30 seconds or so on each vent. It's like, yeah, that's all you need to do, you know? And do you know what really, really sucked? Um, like he refused to pay and we, oh crap. And we had to head out of there cause we had a schedule to maintain. We still had other places that we needed to do in the day. Um, so our boss had to go and like talk with him later and of course like I I like to consider myself usually pretty good at making sure that I didn't miss any events on that one place of course it had to be that one place I forgot to blow out like one of the ones that was like behind the front door like literally hidden behind the front door when you open it there's a vent hidden back there and as we had the door open as we're like constantly going back and forth in and out of the house to and from our truck um I, uh, I missed that one there. So because I missed one and technically hadn't done a complete job, um, it did end up getting waved off. And, you know, he essentially got, like, a duct cleaning for free there because he stirred up a fuss. That wasn't a great feeling there. Of all the places that I had to miss one there. Of course, like, I'm really grateful that, you know, my boss was really considerate there. He was like, yeah, don't worry. Mistakes happen there. You know, I trust you're not going to be the kind of person that's regularly making mistakes like this, but man... That was a crummy feeling there. That was a crummy place. So, you know, sometimes we had some problem customers there. Um, but that was probably the worst one. The guy that refused to pay and was telling us how to do our jobs. And ugh. so, you know, that was cool. You love to see it. You love to see people telling you that you're doing your job wrong that they've never done in their lives. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, I didn't spend long blowing out your vent but that's because there's a vacuum on the other side. I don't have to blow it into the vacuum. It's a vacuum. Do you know how vacuums work? <laughs> you know? Silly. Yeah, best thing about your job is coworkers probably still talk to them after you leave. Don't much a common, but you're all you have a common goal and became good friends. That's good at least. Yeah, the environment can absolutely make or break a job. And if the environment is at least as good in that sense, then that's good there. I had a really good co-worker in that job that uh, <laughs> we were constantly making SpongeBob jokes to each other and laughing all the time there. It was a it was a good time. Fun fact, this uh this electric keyboard here that I play my music on and stuff. Um, I bought that off of my uh, off of my old co-worker. Not because we stayed in contact and, uh, and, you know, worked something out, but, but just randomly off of Kijiji and turned out that he was the, uh, seller there. I really wanted to get, like, a nicer keyboard there, so my parents were kind of looking into stuff on the side for me and, like, figuring, hey, let's go check out some of these places online and, uh, you know, split the costs over it and that would be, like, a birthday thing one year. Um, so I didn't actually know the name of you know the person that we were going to see and turns out it was my old work partner and i bought that keyboard off of him and it's a good keyboard i've been enjoying it since then it uh it works pretty darn nice the keys feel really good um he wanted to learn it but he just didn't really have the time to do it i don't really have much time myself nowadays to be learning new things but here and there like if i'm really stressed out and you know just need a little bit of a break from things sometimes it can be really nice and relaxing just to tap away at the uh the piano keys a little bit you know it can be nice your main manager of the store actually went to an amusement park last year. Really nice. Sometimes my, uh, because the reason why I got my duct cleaning job back then was through like reference of my dad who was working at Weiss at the time. Not anymore since, you know, he's stuck at home on a workers comp with his joint issues with his knees and stuff. Um, but at the time he was working at Weiss 
and he spent a long time working there. Um, so there have been a couple times that my old boss has come by here to help us set up like furnace or AC related stuff. And we'll end up chatting about stuff there. And he's like, oh, you still are studying video games and all that? I'm like, yeah, I still am. All right, you should put a reference to me in the first game that you make, <laughs> is what he told me. <laughs> all right, there's some treasure there. Did I mark all the things? Where, wait, where's my story objective? I got distracted by the fort. I swear, whenever I play this game, okay, it's down there. Whenever I play this game, I just go into autopilot mode just because it's fun to go around like doing objectives and stuff. And I get distracted talking about all sorts of things. This is a fun game to just play and turn my brain off to, you know? Because you're continuously making progress and stuff. Leveling up, getting through a fort, doing objectives, all that fun stuff there. I love turning off my brain to playing this game. So once we are eventually all the way through this game, I will definitely... Gosh dang it! Miss playing this game from that perspective. I'm sure there will be a similar feeling when we play Odyssey though. You know, I'm sure it'll be a similarly structured game if this is the new stance that, you know, the Assassin's Creed games take from here. Which I certainly don't mind. This has been an addicting game. I've very much enjoyed this. And it seems to be running a decent bit better now than it was at the beginning of the stream. Which is good. So... Oh. You didn't quite die. Uh... Uh oh Thank goodness he's coming up here and not trying to raise an alarm or something. Well, uh... <laughs> well, but yeah, they are a little bit tough for my current level considering I can't just one-shot the bigger guys with my, uh, spicier arrows. Uh. Bam! Can I kill this guy? Is he dead? I get him. I got him. Sweet. Two more main big bads to take out now. But yeah. You liked that with racing games like Grand Series is something to drive better when you're lost in thought <laughs> than while you're focusing. Yeah, like I am making progress through here while I play on... Uh, while I play on autopilot. But like, you know, maybe I'm not playing as well as if I was completely 100% focused here, but... Uh, oh, I missed! You saw me? Oh. Uh. That was a crit, sort of? It wasn't quite a headshot, though. Can I just, like... More fire! <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> well, sweet. Oh, Gran Turismo 6 for PS3 is such a chill racing game. He's <laughs> your favorite one to daydream to. Just a nice chill time. You should end up, if you're into a, if ever you get like a bit of an itch for racing game stuff, you should end up talking to a Maverick Zero from the uh, Fragapalooza squad. Always host the racing stuff around there. And apparently, I don't remember what game it was. I think it might have been Gran Turismo at last year's online frag that, uh, that there was a tournament for where apparently the first place prize was going to be like a day of racing at like an actual racetrack that you know things were worked out with um but apparently they had to cancel the event due to a uh, you know low registration numbers it was big sad let's see here let's oh man should i just like do that i don't remember exactly what game it was but yeah well, I'll let you know if there's something going on there this coming year. Things might be back to fully in person rather than online. Potentially, I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. I've got the weird drift again. It's like drifting downward. I need to correct for it. Weird, man. Come on, get him. Man. Do they not know where the shot is coming from right now? Now it's drifting to the top right! Yeah, now it's drifting up there. Oh, that's weird. You know, when Grand Series of Spartan, Grand Series of 7 have done what other modern games have done, become heavily monetized, always online, DMR, monstrosities. Ah. <laughs> I like... Why is it drifting again? Why have I got, like, Joy-Con drift in my Xbox controller? What is happening here? Oh, let's just correct for it. Oh, 
operate exactly the way I need right now. The, uh, the quiz that I was writing yesterday and a little bit of earlier today for my game design class or for my game AI class, um, one of our recent topics that we covered that the quiz was on was player modeling, which basically is like identifying trends within your player base based on the data that you have on them to make predictions about them. And one of the questions towards the end was how you would model to determine how likely they are to spend in your game and, uh, you know, to try and accurately make a model that'll predict how much they're likely to spend, you know? And that is a real thing that, you know, a lot of companies would pay good money for you to, uh, predict well, you know? Is, uh, the day and age in the gaming world. Okay, well, I still have this. Now the drift is gone. Nice. Whoa, and then it like auto aimed onto him. Well, I think that there are some error recharge things here, right? Yep, there definitely is. Um, I mean, I don't think it does, and it's not always drifting. Like, it's not drifting right now, for example. Yeah, I should slowly move out again. That's a good idea. Okay. So, there's one more big bad, I believe, here. Procon did that last the other day. Procon? What's a Procon? Um, I guess just a... Uh, a type of Joy-Con then? Or, oh, come on, please! Please, no! Please don't kill me! Ah! Uh, I drifted for a moment, then stopped. My gray Joy-Cons drift all the time. It sucks. What? Where are you going, man? Where are you going? What are you doing? Ah. Did I miss? Neat where on the contact patches potentially yeah i've heard about people opening up putting a little bit of cardboard um pro controller i guess is what that's short for can those uh drift then i guess with the motion stuff because like the general cursor stuff i've never had any of my uh, pro controllers drift i thought that was just like a fancy way of saying joy con that you were doing there like a fancier joy con that was released later in the line but yeah um Makes sense. Let's see here. I wonder if I can, like... <laughs> I got him? Yeah, I got him. Just gotta loot the treasure now. There's one there. One there. I thought there was one down here. What? Where are they, then? Because there's one far over there. Okay, there's one here. I guess I'll grab that one first. Um, huh. Gotcha, gotcha. So, to kind of negate that in that case. Gotta go down one more level here. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. So, they've been around for a little while in that case. Okay. Let's grab this. Grab arrows as well. You wink. And then... So there's one over there. But, like, there's gotta be another one, too, right? It's not that, is it? Would that count as this fort? Another ballista. Um... I can try grabbing that while I'm here, I guess. I can try giving it a go. Huh. So you can just kind of replace that with that then and then not have to worry about drift in that case. I'm going to try grabbing this and see if it's the, uh, see if it's the thing. Because I should just be able to scale this wall in this game, right? Should be able to. But yeah, so we'll clear this fort while we're here. Assuming this is the chest that I need. Otherwise, I kind of got to find where the thing Thingamabob would be. Are those burbs? Is that a vulture group over there? Yeah. It's going to be a, a little bit of a steep wall. 
Thank goodness he's as good of a climber as he is. As of this Assassin's Creed game, I guess they basically have the climbing abilities of Link from Breath of the Wild, except without the stamina issue. Oh, should I do that while up here then? Because that's starting to get a little bit closer. Maybe if I use my super sniper bow. Maybe. Up we go. Andy. Papo, I must leave home. It saddens me that it has come to this, but I must follow my heart. Amun himself spoke to me as I slept, told me I had greater purpose. To be a Medjai, protector of the people, the sword of the pharaohs. I've taken grandfather's weapon. Do not try to find me. Oh, well, that wasn't even a chest. And Gosh dang it. Well, definitely wasn't that then. It's drifting again. Fine. It still marks this like it's a thing that I can collect or something or other. I assume that I could jump from this, right? Can I go up further? No, this really isn't a jump thing. I mean, I don't really see any hay down there. Stack of hay over there, but I don't know if I can uh, jump for that from here. You know, I'm not entirely certain. Can I? Not exactly what I want to do there. Come on, if I go over here... Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. That would have been really annoying if I was trying to continue climbing up. But, so there's one there. Wait. There's one there. Where's the one that I just saw? There. Kind of by the main objective. So I should probably get this side one first. Right? So mark it. And it just won't stay marked because reasons, I guess. So let's see here. Well, let's go this way. Snipe that guy. And then snipe this guy. Like that. Set this hay on fire and stuff. Whoa! Let's not get set on fire myself. That'd be embarrassing. There's some explosions going on there, but... It's fine enough, I think. Wait. I guess it was wrong to drop down to this level. Uh oh. I pressed the button to shoot, but I guess it didn't register it while it was in, like, the slow-mo of him noticing me. Or something. Let's see here. This one... Please don't tell me that it's in a near inaccessible location. Please don't. Hey. Uh, yeah, through that window, right? Oh. Gotta be through that window. Time hey. to die! <laughs> Stay up. Then... Whoa, it registered another one that time. So yeah, I may as well do that and then restock on arrows. Switch to my other bow. <laughs> and we come into here. Like that. Oh yeah, that's a lot of treasure. I will take all those doubloons and stuff. Let's go around here spamming Y. See how many doubloons I yoink. I believe we have found it. The battle helmet of the great Rameses' favorite horse from his span. Victory in Thebes. Do not touch it, especially you, Sufam. General Sulfurus, about the missing bust of Nefertiti. Whoa, that's the same thing again. Blink lots of things around here. I got a necklace, whatever that does for me. That makes my neck look better. Something or other. Carbon crystal, okay. Anything else to yoink around here? Yoink. Lots of doubloons. The balloons. Don't drop them. Okay. Um, and then I go over to kind of where my main objective is. And there's going to be a chest there. So I'll complete the area while I'm here. And all that. So the chest was... I sworn it was somewhere over near. Oh, here. If I can go... Whoa, lag again. I can go grab this. 
this away. Ow. Time to die! Time to die! All right. So then we grab this, and then the location is completed. Sweet. You'll love to see it. Can even restock all my arrows there. Temple of Hashepsu, or whatever the heck. Get the chance to fully read it. Okay. Oh, it's in the top left there. Hapshet suit. All right. I'll open this one like a civilized person, I guess. All right, it didn't yield anything important. Oh, hi. Yeah, you have the same model as that one merchant that I talked to that one time, probably. All right, well. Oh, well, how far? In the fort! It looks like exploration area. What am I trying to find here? Well, maybe those were the captured merchants that I freed, maybe? Oh. I shed blood for that relic. Probably you, right? Yup. Where's the artifact? Up my ass. Do not test me. No, oh, for real. You stole it. Mm. But he doesn't know where the tomb is. <laughs> then tell me. Uh, ask the others. They <clears throat> know where to look. What others? Who are you working with? Wash my heart and kill me. I have gone anyway. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Where did your nephew go, huh? My boy's chasing west from the auction. Should have killed him with his parents. <laughs> We're going to turn me in. <laughs> Wait, does it want me to? Because I the, the prompt is here. I mean, and he asked me to do it, and then the game gave me the prompt. So like, you know. So, oh, the pharaoh isn't there anymore. Okay, so yeah, we can start doing this stuff up the hill. Is there more world over there? Yeah, there is another section of world over there. Okay. So I guess we'll go do that. Stuff burned. All right, and we've 100 percented the location here, right? Yep, we have. We have indeed. All right, so I guess we'll go up to the viewpoint and then loop around. Oh, my RZR capacity anyway. Stealth kill streak. Who did I kill? I imagine it must have been someone with flesh decay, but uh, I guess I'm just out here killing people without even realizing it. Weird. Don't yet okay, it'd be easier to just go around this. Don't you hate it when it turns out you're killing people without even realizing it? I hate it when that happens. It's so strange. Here's a convenient path here. I appreciate the follow there, Sasu. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Ow, my legs. My leg! Oh. Uh I mean, if you don't cause problems for me, maybe I don't cause problems for you. Maybe that's what we work out here. We got some glowy things around here. Those might give me ability points considering the last DLC, you know. Ah! What the heck? Hi. Well, keep on going up the path, I guess. New location discovered. Setmat. Really? You won't go up that unless I press A? A little bit too much of a ledge, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so I may as well just climb straight up from here. Do you mind, sneaky snakes? The snakes are kind of weird in this game, because it's like... They can't actually move. They're always just, you know, one static position, and that's it. Alright, I'm gonna have to be careful not to do, like, a leap of faith here. In fact, I probably shouldn't even look down in case I do it by accident. I don't even see hay down there, but if there's a viewpoint here... That means that there must be one down there, you know? So, synchronize. Oh, that's a cool thing over there. I don't even know what the heck it would be called. That thing that they've done with the water. 
the that the that right there that's neat um all right so yeah we got that all discovered look there's a whole bunch of glowy things around here there's a quest that can be accepted there burnt offerings let's see here let's uh, see Susie. In location discovered workers necropolis well i was gonna call send you to see the uh see the chests anyway where is it there i guess and then the nephew is there i guess let me grab this chest first how about and I guess I'll accept the side quest. I don't know whether or I'll ever do it, but I may as well accept it while I'm here, right? That's what I may as well do, so. Hi. Have you come <laughs> to bring me home? Tell Anin I will not leave my brother. Anin did not send me. But these cliffs are not safe for a woman alone. There are bandits, soldiers. Let them try and take me. It was one of those vultures who defiled Ranafer's tomb. Something was taken. He was taken, the tomb desecrated and the body stolen, and his amulet, the scarab I made to protect him. Is that the necklace that I looted? Find the neck of the adepts who did this. His mastaba is at the top of the necropolis. But why would you help me? Because maybe it's something that I'll end up doing along the way anyway. <laughs> A man's car must not be trapped in these shallow sands. So say the ancient songs. I am Raya. I will return to the village to find you there. Okay. Burnt offerings. Well, reach the desecrated tomb. Okay, so it's a different thing then. And yoink. Hey, more hard leather and stuff. Yeah, well, yoink. Ah, I just wanted to yoink. Do you mind? Holy crap. Um, all I wanted to do was yoink. Wow, I got both of them with that. Oh crap, man. Or leather and stuff, I guess. At least. Okay, what's going on over here, huh? Come out, I thought I already marked my uh oh. Going well. anywhere. Give us the rest. Uh no, I wanted to assess I still can! Wow! Well, well, but I guess I can't take you out there. Well just do that. Step, 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 step. Okay. Well. So behind there. Get away. Right. Who is in there? No one, nothing, only the dead. You're a little noisy for a spirit. You are the auction thief everyone's looking for. No, not me. Uh, what auction? The burning desert sun has made you delusional, Neb. It is night. I will find a way in and we oh, will I guess talk. it is. No. Uh, go away. The same footprints from the auction. Ersu's nephew. Yeah, that's what I would have figured there. So, uh, I gotta just waltz in and hope I don't get stabbed or something? I'd probably end up from the docks. talking so with them more before I snuck no. in. Yes, I mean, I am nothing. No one. Who are you? Bayek. And I need the artifact you stole. Are you with my uncle, Ned? No. Please, leave me this one thing. It is my mother, she's... Your parents are gone. Because of this. And Nefertiti will never harm another. If I can only bring it back to her tomb... Then why haven't you? My naked uncle never told me where it was. He's dead. Mira, light his person. Give it to me. I will return it. Why? You've lost nothing. Nothing. I was a Medjai. A husband, a father. I painted half of Egypt with the blood of those who took that from me. All of it over a relic like this one. Take it. Take it. I believe you. What is wrong? I was expecting something else. You promised. Nefertiti's tomb lies west of the main path, in the valley. 
I thought you did not know where it was. This is the tomb of our architect. I've been stuck in here for ages. I figured it out. 